Hello YouTube, Sean here from Grunge Garage. Uh, today we're going to be working on a Roomba. So this is the uh, 565 model. Uh, the procedure we're going to be doing is uh, we'll work on the 56 and 700 models as long as they have uh, this style of, uh, of brush, um, not the arrow, the newest version of the arrow brush. Um, anyways, as the video title states, we're going to be changing the brush motor. Now on this particular one, uh, it just went dead, right? The uh, It starts, everything works, the, the vacuum runs, but the brushes aren't running. So um, the way that I, I found that out, or that you can you can be sure of that, is that uh, when you go to empty your canister, it'll just be full of uh, really fine lint. It won't have picked up any, any big particles. Anyways, let's get started. That is a good idea to pull the battery out just so that there's no possibility of shorting. So that's that motor there. Um, the thing we're going to do before we get going, there's just a sticker here that we're going to lift up. Set that aside for later, and should be able to pull out of there. Okay, we're also going to get these up from around that hook. And looks like I'm going to need to take this little screw out here too. Placement. We've also got our sensor. So that's the old one out, the old failed one. All right, so there's a groove here that this has got to sit in. And it clips under. Okay, so this motor is a little different, so I don't need this piece anymore. Um, it's got a little bit longer of a shroud on it, so anyways. So I can do away with this and just deal with the motor. Okay, so it's ready to put the screws back in. That's all there. Put this guy back in. Yeah. So it did come with new seals here, so but mine seem to be in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna reuse them.
here. Into its spot. And that little red piece of sticky that you pulled off of there. Now oh, mine's not sticky anymore, so I'm gonna get another piece of tape here. Okay, I'm just gonna use a small piece of scotch tape here to keep that from running away. Okay, almost good to go here. Um, the other thing we gotta do. Pull these cables up and get them clipped into place. Just want to get those clipped so they stay up out of the way. Put this module back in. Oh, all done.